Welcome back to Not So Grand Garage. Today we're out in the fuel shed again, and uh, my fuel drum is empty. So I need to go on and process another batch, and figured I'd uh, show you the whole process from start to finish. So let's get going. As you can see, our gravity drum is already full. It's been full for a couple weeks now. So, uh, yeah, basically, I've got the centrifuge ready to go. The bowl's pretty well cleaned out. I've got my temperature set on the heater. So, uh, first up, we will turn our heater on here. Now, this here will heat up, but we'll go on and close this up a little bit. This valve here controls the flow rate. And we'll go on and open this up. And get an eye on our flow rate. Yeah, that's too quick. So we're gonna shut that off. And close this on down. Last time I ran this, it was a lot colder out, so I had to run these valves open quite a bit, way quite a ways. So, but yeah, I'll let most of that drain off. All the sludge and everything comes out of this hose here, comes down, and empties into this five-gallon bucket down here. But. Anyways, now that we've, uh, we've got her slowed down, this valve is closed. We'll open this back up. And all we want is a nice stream. That there should do. We want to turn the fuse on. Let it spin up. We're flowing good there. So, I'll let that run a little bit. This bowl will fill up and it'll start coming out this hose down here, down through here to the valves, down to our finished drum. But I'm gonna let it run for just a little bit and then uh, take a look at it and see how much flow we're getting. Okay, and that about does it. We're, uh, we're up and running. So, usually, I'll run this setup here at about uh, four, four to five gallons an hour, typically. That's what I like to shoot for. And uh, that uh, seems to work the best for me. This thing will process a lot faster than that. But uh, for my needs, it's not necessary. Uh, we'll run it through, let it run, eight, 10, 12 hours, whatever it takes. Yeah, so this is pretty well uh, self-contained now, so I can walk off and let it go, let it do its thing. As uh, as you can see, I'm sure if you can see it, it's not, but you can see the oil build up pretty quick. So that is our clean oil coming out, running down, and into our drum. Which I'm not sure if you can hear it or not. You might be able to see it down in there, probably not. But, uh, yeah, that'll fill this drum up. Once this drum is full, it'll be approximately 50 gallons because that's all I put in the drum up there. We will pull five gallons of our stale gas slash diesel mixture out of that. Add her to the top through here, funnel it in, kick this pump on, shut a few valves, let it uh, circulate this drum, and it will be good to go. So be ready to uh, pump it in the truck. After this batch is done, which will be, like I said, probably, I might run this one a little quicker, so probably eight-ish hours. Uh, I'll come back out later tonight and show you how we run this big block Chevy oil pump 
to fill our drum up top. Yep, it's simple, it's self-contained, it does everything for me, and I don't have to worry about it. So, anyways, we'll uh, cut it off there for now, and I'll uh, I'll get you guys back out here in a little bit. Well, got my little uh, transfer pump hooked up, and we're pumping some uh, stale gas slash diesel mix into our five gallon fuel can. We'll take this fuel can and dump it into our finish drum. The fuel can's just about full. Once we uh, get that topped off, we'll just uh, pop this cap here, throw the funnel in there, and uh, pour the mix down in here. Now, this tank and this pump setup's got some valves on it. I can shut these valves off, and uh, the pump up here will actually just uh, pull from the bottom of the tank, dumped right back into the top. So it will circulate that whole drum and get it good and mixed up. So now that we've got our uh, five gallons of dieseline mixed in with our uh, finished drum, I'm gonna take our funnel off here, put our cap back on, and I'm gonna come under here, I'm gonna just crack this valve open a little bit, which will uh, let the oil come back up this pipe, around, and down into the top of the drum which it pulls from the bottom of the tote, the bottom of the drum right here. We'll go on and kick this pump on. And we'll just let this circulate for a few minutes and uh, it'll be good to go. I'll shut the pump down and it'll sit for a day or two before it's ready to be pumped into the car or the truck. Now that our batch is done, it's been uh, sitting for a few days now. I'm gonna go on and uh, fill this drum up up here using our drill powered big block Chevy oil pump and I'll uh, show you how that works and uh, how quickly this setup goes and uh, here we are set up just a half inch drill chucked onto the uh, the drive of the pump and uh, yeah. push the oil up into the tote it's a pretty simple process, and I run this, uh, I tend to run this drill pretty slow, just because uh, I don't want to take a chance on putting too much pressure in these lines or anything. So uh, it typically takes about five to ten minutes to fill this drum up. But uh, yeah, I'll uh, get this drum filled up real quick, and uh, let you see how it goes. Drums filled up, ready to go. Ready to uh, ready to run another batch. It's a pretty simple setup, really. It uh, can be a little time consuming to uh, to get the drum filled up, but uh, yeah, beyond that, uh, once it's ready to go, hit the switch on the, the centrifuge, open the valve up, and uh, it pretty well runs itself. And uh, yeah, so. I might have half an hour or so invested in, uh, well, a half hour of my actual time being out here messing with it to uh, get a full drum batched up and ready to go. So I don't think that's too bad. It's a pretty simple process and it works really well for us. But uh, anyway, I think that's all I got for you today. So uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe and uh, we thank you for watching. Have a good one.